Hi friends, welcome to VFX Pipeline channel. And in this video, I will not share any software related tips with you guys. In this video, I will give you some of the best available laptops information in the market in 2019. And if you are a creative multimedia professional and looking for a best computing laptop for your professional use or your personal R&D, and you are confused which laptop you should buy, maybe this video will help you okay so let me start first of all why i picked this topic because since i'm also a creative multimedia professional plus programmer so in my requirement i need a heavy duty laptop and also i need portability and also since you are working in this vfx industry you know what we are not settled at one place sometime like maybe after two years when our contract over we need to move to the next place and we need to shift over all the gadgets with us so in that case we need a portability in our hand and also the power because these days all the software is required heavy ram uh, multi-threaded options heavy gpu uh, hard disk must be uh, SSD or maybe NVMe uh, SSD so I mean there are all things which we need at very advanced level to actually make some of the R&D at our home and you know what if you can't ignore your personal R&Ds even you are working in a studios or anywhere the reason is uh, you need to upgrade yourself keep upgrade yourself maybe in your office you are working on maya houdini for whatever thing but at home you come back and uh, learn some new stuff so that will help you in your professional career but even for learning you can't actually just go with some very old or maybe very simple budget laptop and just do your R&D because if you open maya and houdini it will crash it will just it will not work anymore so this video i will show you some of the best options which you can pick for yourself and i make this list because i i want to buy a new laptop uh, for myself and for that i did uh, today i did some research and found some best laptop available and these laptops are not considered based on their price or maybe based on their uh, premiumness the only thing which i see there is the hardware specification and the amount of work which i can do in the laptop okay so let's just see what are those laptops and uh, one of the laptop i from that list i already finalized that i'm going to buy and i will let you know in the end of the video and also i will show you what is the price of that laptop and i will show you the exact quotation which uh, that company sent me okay so let's start with the list of all six uh, mobile workstations that you can use for your creative and multimedia work okay let's start <clears throat> all right so here this is the full list which you can see here we have hp zbook precision dell precision razor blade pro msi w3 lenovo p72 and asus but don't get confused this is just to show you at the end of this video we will come to this comparison table but let's just go one by one and let's see what are these laptops so the first one which i see is asus studio book s and uh, the reason i like this laptop because it comes with uh, two things one is nvidia quadro rtx graphic card which is quite good and since in our uh, 3d animation and visual effects world now things are shifting to the gpu side even if it is like rendering and all so you must have some good gpu in your laptop or any of your uh, computer which you are using so you can actually use your gpu rendering and as they mention in their website this is good for designer architects animators and programmers so they already target the audience what which is one of the animator is fit in our and also you can see that it's quadro grade graphics is inbuilt there in terms of design it looks thin uh, i like the design but i don't like this color which is like slightly bluish color but uh, i don't know it's it's completely depend on your choice which which color you want and what kind of thing and also like uh, regarding the coolingness they are pretty good uh, 
area to actually flow of the air and this is a 17 inch laptop so obviously there is uh, like the size is bigger and uh, overall this is good come up with the uh, like full configuration we will discuss when we come to this sheet and but just to give you a quick overview of what what is the first laptop in the our selection series and i just mentioned that it's come with the rtx 3000 nvidia quadro gpu and uh, thermal is also very good for this uh as what they mentioned and also i go with some other reviews so far asus uh, uh don't have any thermal throttling issues okay so overall this is good but uh let's just move to our next option which one is the in our list okay next one is uh, thinkpad p72 and thinkpad p72 is a 17.3 inches mobile workstation and this is heavy duty mobile workstation which is having let's just quickly go with the features it's come up with some high-end configs which we will discuss in our comparison table but uh, just for now if you can see it's all these laptops are actually come with tons of ports so you no need dongles and all with these laptops so everything every laptop contained um, usb 3.1 or thunderbolt and uh, card reader and 3.5 mm audio jack hdmi inbuilt and also display port and uh, yeah i mean the port wise all are fully loaded so you no need to worry about that so and also you can see in the images here itself like what we just look at that and uh, some sort of like uh, the feature wise still will go with the sheet then we will see about uh, uh, I mean the display what are the, the screen size and all and uh, yeah I mean this is the second option in our list which you can pick either to for your animation visual effects multimedia or any kind of heavy duty work this is really good laptop ThinkPad P72 mobile workstation and this is actually a Lenovo brand is from lenovo so this is lenovo thinkpad okay so the third one is msi we75 this looks impressive because msi is now making more and more good high performance laptops and this is one of the laptop which come up with again nvidia card and we'll see that it's come up with a ninth generation of intel core processor ninth generation intel core i7 processor which is the latest one by the time i'm making this video it's already june 2019 and this is the one which has come with again rtx series graphic card which is one of the good graphic card which you can use for your any types of rendering or whatever purpose 17.3 inches since we are in uh, a creative industry it's definitely the screen we need bigger so we can see the frame clearly and bigger also most of the time when we do the multitasking that time maybe we split the screen and we will actually use multiple things also it is apply for the pipeline developers and all the programmers also even if you are doing a programming work or you are in a software industry definitely you need a laptop which can handle lot of virtual machines running parallelly and you can compile code so fast a lot of other things as you can see that there are supported applications 3ds max autocad maya i mean i'm, I'm just naming the uh, the software which is actually used for our industry so i mean keyshot is also one of the good uh, software which is mostly used for gaming uh, modeling uh, military grade reliability and durability okay that's that's good because even all these laptops have come with uh, all these kind of uh, uh, protection which is sand and dust vibration shock metal low pressure high pressure so this is fine uh, print screen short key so this is the keys which is coming in this and msi actually did a very good job i actually this is first time i go so deep with the msi configuration details i actually never go with the product line of msi but once i go through all this configurations and the laptop overall design also is pretty good no problem with that 
so i mean this is also one of the option which you can pick for your creative multimedia professional and high computing work so let's just uh, move further with our next uh, laptop and also we will cover all the comparison when in our comparison sheet later now in our line we have razor blade pro and razor is actually growing so fast in our industry seriously i mean there are actually many of my friends they actually uh, using this razor blade and uh, i just i just see I, I just used for some houdini test and it's really good the performance is really really good so i mean definitely if you want a very good quality uh, laptop for your 3d and uh, animation work definitely it will be a good investment for you uh, razor blade primarily actually target the gaming audience and uh, but since the hardware specifications meet the requirement of uh, the animation and visual effects guys so this is really good choice for you if you want to play the games also with your laptop i mean all this laptop either it is msi or thinkpad or asus i mean this is there is no exception these are these are all windows based laptop they are all coming with windows install so you can actually go and play games no problem because with this kind of hardware definitely you are expecting to play any kind of hardcore game which you can actually but razor is primarily targeted the gaming audience and that's why you can see that it's in the gaming laptop uh, i mean gaming laptop category i was actually not uh, thinking to add this inside my review but i see one of my friend is using this laptop and i already personally use try that laptop so that's why i decided to take this laptop in my selection list here so graphics wise no issue and this has come up with 17.3 inches and uh, you can see the bezel less so there is very thin bezel here for for display so this is very good refresh rate is also fine because that is for playing game it's very important to have good refresh rate next generation connectivity that means we have full set of port here so no need to worry about that we get some card reader thunderbolt usb third and uh, hdmi security lock i mean this is standard in every workstation laptop you can expect from every workstation laptop so no worry about that uh any uh, so what they say that they are some other external gpu which is shipped by razer you can connect that and you can get more gpu power with this laptop so i mean this is good option if you want to try a new brand and also comes with the reliability of razer and the community of razer is growing so this is the i mean the fourth option in my list now let's just go back to the fifth option and which is dell and uh, dell is kind of one of my favorite list uh, is dell uh, the reason is the brand is quite reliable and you can actually whenever if you go at the workstation level whether it's this tower or maybe it's uh, a laptop level the dell brand is really good and i will show you in my comparison sheet why i'm saying this okay but the thing is you have option precision 7730 mobile workstation and the options which i pick here i'm showing they, these laptops are actually high end in terms of computing i mean these are not the most expensive laptop out there even if you compare the latest macbook pro which is actually uh 40 percent more than these these laptop price so those are the premium laptops and even in windows level if you see some of the acer laptop or gaming laptop like alienware and all these are also very expensive laptops but uh, here uh, my main focus is on hardware side which is compatible with all kind of multimedia work which include 3d animation visual effects rendering simulations uh 
opening of CG files, 3D files, running multiple Maya, multiple Houdini, uh, maybe real flow simulations, or maybe After Effects, Nuke. I mean, all kind of work can be handled inside this laptop. So Dell Precision 7730 is the top on the line mobile workstation, but there are some other variants also available. Definitely you can go and pick, choose according to your and one thing i want to mention at this place because since you are seeing some figures in the dollars and in this video i will not gonna sh like show you or tell you the prices of these laptops because it's completely depend on what kind of configuration you want you want 8 gigabytes of ram or you want 128 gigabytes of ram it's your choice so i mean don't go with the pricing from my perspective and also by the time I'm making this video when you see definitely there will be some new brand or new version available so price will be different definitely shift so my main focus is on the hardware side okay so since now we are just showing uh, I'm just showing you the model numbers and their brands which we can actually pick and later one by one we will see what kind of actual hardware specification we need and what they are offering us let's just see our last and final option in our list which is hp z book 17 and this is really really extreme performance machine which i ever see and to let you know guys I'm using HP mobile workstation right now and by the time I'm making this video I'm making on my HP mobile workstation and the model number which I'm using is 8770W and I brought this laptop in year 2011 and still this laptop is working like a charm I can do any kind of work I install all kind of 3d application in my PC and I'm working on that and regularly upload video for you guys so you can see it's really working even after eight years of full heavy duty uses my laptop is seriously working awesome so HP ZBook 17 is uh, one of my own experience laptop which I'm showing you in my list and this is also like designed for video editors VR developers architect designer and product developer extreme performance meeting extraordinary demands 17.3 inches come up with intel core i9 i7 xeon processor storage you can take up to 10 terabytes and ram can be go up to 128 gb quadro fx up to p32 graphic card you can go up to that which is really insane in the laptop which is 16 gigabytes of the video ram inside your laptop it's thermal wise they actually make some uh, I mean I mean they, they improve some of the thermal things but since you are buying any of this laptop guys don't expect two things one they will be heat so this laptops are really really going to be heat so you need a cooling pad for this laptop and you can't use this laptop as a you know whenever you go and you just open and start work you these are the heavy laptop these I mean the the lightest laptop in this list is actually something around 2.5 kilograms so you can't actually just go and work with this so these are very heavy so you must be make sure you are uh, using it carefully and the second thing is uh, they will be thermal and the second thing is actually the battery life so don't expect a heavy uh, many many hours of battery life with this laptops this will be max to max three hours is the maximum battery life for this laptop so you can just use laptop battery as a ups inside this laptop so this is two things as per my personal experience okay so the the screen is pretty good which come up with some their hp copyrighted or inbuilt technology which is a dream color monitor there are options for touch screen 4k panel so if you want touch screen in the laptop you can get that but i think there is no use for that inside laptop which is not successful if you are using a convertible laptop then it makes sense something like dell xpx and hp spectre 
360 then it is good but for uh, mobile workstation you seriously don't even need this and as per my recommendation definitely you are going to use an external monitor with your laptop so it's good to have a decent hd screen and also if you go with more uh, more than 1080p screen i mean if you go with the 4k screen your battery performance will be affected so you will get less hours of battery backup okay so i mean one thing i want to add here is uh, these are actually this is my personal experience with hp mobile workstation is you can actually open this entire laptop by your hand you no need any other special tool to actually open this so and if you go to my youtube channel i created one video how you can replace a, a graphic card inside hp mobile workstation so you can find this inside this i button i will add here and also you can see the link in the description of this video so you can check out how you can actually dismantle this laptop very easily and pack back again and it's very good okay so now let's just go back to our conclusion and just see where which laptop is good and what are the features and let's say come here so i just make this list something like this uh, the first column is basically the name of the laptop which is hp dell blah 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 okay and these are the images of these laptops which we just see their own official websites so let's just see first the cpu cpu is one of the key element in the laptop which is responsible for overall computing performance inside so that that's why it, you must be take, uh, like pick the best cpu option available and also if you are watching this video and you are looking for a better high-end performing uh, performance laptop definitely you don't have issues with the costs you are not looking for a budget laptop you are looking for a giant machine which is actually come with a price so definitely if you are looking for a xeon processor with 2.9 gigahertz, gigahertz and 12 mb of cache 6 core processor that means in mobile workstation i mean in laptop if you are getting a xeon processor you need to pay for that because portability come with a price right okay so uh, this is uh, come with a xeon processor and also dell precision come with the same processor you can go up to this and by the time i'm making this video these are these these are the uh, xeon processor available with this laptop definitely they these will be upgrade to the next version or next level so but you can pick uh, but the availability is there in both uh, razor blade i see the maximum you can go up to i7 ninth generation so this is by the time i'm making this video this is the latest i7 processor with six core and the base clock is 2.6 gigahertz and uh, if we see the msi which is come with the ninth generation of intel i7 which is razor blade and msi both are same and others are come up with the xeon processor so even lenovo thinkpad is coming with the same xeon processor which hp and dell is coming and asus basically having a xeon processor but actually uh, a different version not not the same one so this is having a e2276m processor okay so this is about the processor and this is as per my uh, experience these are the best cpus available in the laptop series so if i need to buy definitely i will buy one of these laptop with one of these cpu option definitely i will think between i7 and xeon and the reason is uh, i will go with xeon because my work is more dependent on the server level work which is uh, maybe running the virtual machines simulations of uh, some virtual servers virtual machines and xeon is actually pretty good in that so and also come up with the uh, ecc ram and which is our next column and that we will see here ram is also very second number key elements inside your laptop and since up to now if you are watching this video definitely these lines are actually completely based for you because you already know what is ram is but 
we just quickly see what are the numbers available almost uh, these three have i mean these all are having the same amount of ram i mean the same speed ram which is ddr4 266 ecc ram razor blade don't have ecc ram because the reason is this is come with a i7 processor and i7 don't support ecc ram and this is error correction ram so if something goes wrong inside uh, your ram it will fix that something like that error correction and xeon processor actually they support ecc so one more thing which i want to say here ecc rams are very expensive compared to normal ram so if you are investing in this if something happen in future definitely your the, your repairing cost or replacement cost will be way higher okay so what whoever is coming with i7 definitely the ram is non ecc but the size you can get up to 64 gigabyte which is more than enough in 2019 i mean seriously 64 gb ram you are future proof you no need to think about ram side from i mean from next five years that's that will be fine graphic card is also one of the key feature because our work is dependent on the graphics graphics and graphics graphic card hp come up with the nvidia p3200 16 gb ddr5 same dell will come in, come up with that and razer come up with geforce rtx and this is nvidia geforce rtx 2018 which is 8 gb so I mean the graphic card wise Nvidia HP ZBook and Dell Precision is really good MSI has come with the RTX one and uh, Lenovo ThinkPad the maximum you can go up to P4200 8GB and Asus you can go up to RTX which is you can't actually configure this one this is whatever is available you, you, you have to go with that that's it I think the storage part also you can actually configure but i think these are all fixed so you can't change that as of now when i see this on their official website okay so i mean what i see here so far these two laptop dell and hp is having a best performance graphic card available in their laptops ram wise all knows uh, i mean sorry ssd wise so ssd wise all knows what are the trend and what is the requirement so all are coming with same pci express nvme ssd 2 terabytes available so 2 tb ssd if you have no problem you are running like a supercar okay now screen screen is also one of the key element as we discussed previously all are coming with 17 inches only asus studio is having 17 others are having 17.3 inches so 17.3 i mean they added 0.3 for for some reason some technical reason they added 0.3 not 0 0.4 for example macbook is coming with 15.4 inch others are coming 17.3 inch okay so hp have one of the i mean as per my opinion hp is winning in the display wise because it's coming with a 4k dream color and the nits are 400 which is i mean if this number is bigger that means the laptop screen will be brighter uh 17.3 inches ultra sharp this is also 4k but nits they did not mention in their description anywhere and i don't know what is the nit but this is also 17.3 4k inches as a 4k monitor in screen uh, with razor we get 17.3 inches but, but this is a, a hd standard hd 1080p and the nits are 300 msi 17.3 inches but they did not mention what are the but definitely it will be full hd 1920 1080 this is come up like lenovo come with the ultra hd 4k and 400 nits so lenovo and hp display match but hp win because of the dream color technology in build asus having 1920 1200 anti glare 17 inches and almost all laptops are anti glare so no issue with that ports actually i will not go and read all the ports here but you can see there are tons of giant ports available for all these laptops so you need you no need dongles anymore weight is uh, i mean in this series one of the heaviest one is lenovo thinkpad which is 
3.4 kilogram and one of the light test is uh, msi or oh, sorry asus so 2.4 is the lightest one and uh, 3.2 so asus is having 3.2 3.1 uh, 2.75 uh, i mean definitely if you are using this much heavy computing work you no need to worry about the weight because you are not going to use on hand every day you will just put that on table and use it like me right okay warranty one of the key part and i actually put more importance on this, this section the reason is if you are going to spend a huge amount of money if you're going to i mean it's not to spend invest a huge amount of money the warranty is some sort of surety that you can use this amount of hardware without any worry about repairing or if something happen who gonna pay that again right so if you are investing for xeon 64 gb of ram p3200 graphic card 2 terabyte of ram 17.3 inches anti-glare screen and if you uh, you don't have any warranty then you will not use from free of your mind how you can actually throw a heavy simulation or maybe fluid simulation or maybe some heavy rendering overnight on your laptop and your laptop is heating like a you know burning machine you you need freedom from your mind so if something happened in the hardware the company is responsible to replace that and here i seriously heads off to the hp because i'm using this laptop right now and i change almost everything in my laptop in the warranty and their warranty is superb on-site warranty that means you just create a ticket they will come to your home and they will change and they will go not even single minute they will take your machine in their service center for example i change my screen i accidentally drop my screen and uh, there was for some reason from internally it was not working and uh, that was not physically damaged but it was actually completely blacked out i just created a ticket on hp help desk and after next day they messaged me that someone is coming going to fix that and after two days i get new screen in my laptop one person come and he replaced that for free of cost so this is one example but i seriously go with i change my battery i change my keyboard i change my processor i change my uh, ram everything i change under warranty so you can also take advantage of that and that's why this is come up to five years of on-site warranty so guys please please don't ignore this part if you want freedom in your mind if you want to use your laptop without worry take warranty because definitely we are going to use this laptop roughly we want to go to the peak of this laptop what we can achieve from that definitely we want to get what is our return of investment we want to put 10 different maya renders same time same thing we want to do rendering same time we want to do the compositing we don't want to wait for another pc to be free up we invest already a huge amount of money with Xeon level processor, with ECC RAM. We want to do everything at one laptop. So if something goes wrong, if something burned up, don't worry. Just call HP. They will come and they will change for you. And this is not just HP. I mean, every warranty, even if it is Dell, Razer, MSI, everyone will change. But maximum number of warranty from where you are getting take that hp is having five year on-site warranty dell is having five year on-site warranty razor is having three year walk-in warranty and i seriously hate this walk-in warranties you know because if something happened in your laptop you have your important data sometimes it's confidential you are working for some clients and that information they say that okay just leave your laptop and we'll call you after two days i mean what is the guarantee i mean i don't feel secure if we uh, have some walking uh, warranties this is really bad 
so three years working warranty but anyway whatever we have we have to i i mean accept that other msi having two years of walk-in warranty that means you need to carry your laptop in the service center and just throw it there and after when they call you need to go back again to take your laptop lenovo have one years of warranty walk-in so you need to go back there also and osis also have one year walking only these two champions are giving you on-site warranty that means they will come to your home and they will fix and they will go seriously i like this part so guys now come to the point which laptop should i buy because one of these laptop i'm going to buy soon i mean i already started uh, my buying process i already talked to the vendors but uh, i just realized there is a new version is coming soon and just two days back i get this information so i cancel my order and i'm waiting for that so maybe in july i will buy that and the laptop which i pick for my work is you guess which one okay the laptop which i purchase is hp z book and this is my choice this laptop is actually i i'm going to buy and i want to show you what is the price of this laptop in malaysia right now so this is the quotation which i get from my vendors and uh, this is valid as you can see this is valid until 26th of june and this is right now this is uh, 3rd of june by the time i'm making this video and you know even if i compare this price with uh, let me just see that the overall price for this is 13777 malaysian ringgits so wherever country you are watching you can convert this price with ringgits to your currency and you will get the idea about what is the actual price and the configuration which i pick is the xeon processor which same i i just mentioned there if that is the intel xeon proce uh, processor and uh, windows 10 pro nvidia quadro p3200 6 gb graphic card 17.3 ultra hd 4k dream color monitor 16 gb ecc ram 1 terabyte pci express and uh, blu-ray blah 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 this has already come 3 plus 3 warranty which already there plus hp five year next business day on-site warranty hardware support and this all come in 13777 this is really good i mean now if i want to show you the i mean uh, if, if let me just quickly show you if you want to buy a apple product and in that just to give you a quick idea about that so i malaysia continue and uh, go back to the mac i mean seriously mac is macbook is nowhere near to the performance of this laptop which we just compare right now but i just want to show you few things which is we just see the the price here in 13,777 ringgits. We are getting five years of on site warranty. We are getting 64 gigabytes of ECC RAM, 17.3 inches, Quadro P3200, 6 GB graphic card. There are so many things we are which we are getting. And let's just select a high end Mac book, which is actually the base model, start with 12,099 if you are going to get a intel 9th generation and then 32 gig is the maximum ram and also you can see the speed is 2400 2, megahertz and right now here you see in 13777 ringgits you are getting everything and here this is the maximum 32 gb you can go with i9 and 32 gb ram our budget is already reached to the 14000 and remember this is only one year carry in warranty for that you need to pay for apple care also then if we if we need a good gpu option which is a radon radeon vega pro 4 gb so you need to add 1500 more so now you can see that your budget is now 16379 and uh, two terabytes of uh, one terabytes of the storage so now with that you see here now we have ringgits eighteen thousand one hundred and thirty nine, uh, and 
HP workstation is seriously so I mean sorry guys don't go in a very wrong direction the my main idea to actually show you this figure here is this figure I mean this amount is not huge amount which you are paying which is actually this is really really worth for the kind of hardware you are actually getting so this is I talked to HP about that and they give me a little bit of discount also because I mean this is a G5 and uh, HP actually they are planning to release G6 in July so this is June so I just need to wait for one month and after that I will get the latest hardware of uh, HP so uh, I mean yeah so this is uh, my configuration which I already talked to my vendors that I'm not going to buy this I will wait for one more month and after that I will buy the new one so this is the comparison sheet and uh, later on I will actually put this comparison sheet uh, somewhere in my github account so there you can download and you can I mean see that whatever if you want to look at this and uh, also maybe I can share this spreadsheet because I just created inside Google spreadsheet so that will be fine all right so you can just check the entire list and also all the links also I will put uh, I mean all these links with of this website I will put in the description of this video okay so guys that's it I hope this video helped you to purchase your own mobile workstation and once I will buy my new HP ZBook 17 then I will make a proper unboxing for that so guys thank you very much and uh, I hope this video is not too long for you guys but the information is too much and I don't want to like reduce some of the thing which actually not good for you so everything is help you to make your own decision about uh, buying a new laptop for you so good luck guys if you are still looking for buying for a new laptop and uh, if you buy a new laptop after my this video so you just let me know in the description of this, this video and uh, i will come up with the unboxing of the next video all right so i'll see you in my next video okay bye bye